Hey guys, it's Matt. Um, I will, uh, of course, finish loading the chapters of the book. And uh, I, I wasn't sure when to say this. At some point, um, maybe when the book's finished, roughly 80 chapters or whatever, I'm going to have the chance to load. Uh, we got to leave all this behind. All of us. We, we have to leave all this behind. Um, this reality junkie obsession. Um, I'm disgusted with YouTube right now, absolutely. And I'm not talking about Google, <laughs> YouTube. We know what creature sits at that table. I'm talking about the channels, the people. Um, I mean, there's almost nobody I, I trust anymore. We had this initial wave of truth that came out of YouTube. And I've talked about it a few times I mean, the old days of, I always say Russian vids, but I, I don't know exactly what Russian vids' role was, but it woke me up to a lot of the fake events, no doubt about it. It got me thinking in a different way. It broke some of the mold off of my brain. So th th that there was a, a person that I uh, used to correspond back and forth with. Uh, his name was Robin. And he wore a patch over his eye. And he had an initial channel called How I See the World. And then How I See Sandy Hook. And they kept taking his channel down. He kept saying How, How I See Sandy Hook 2, then 3, then 4. Um, there was a guy named Johnny Supertramp. Who they, I guess they took his channel down. He was like Johnny Supertramp 5. Johnny Supertramp 6. And that was the name from that, that movie where that kid goes off to live in the wilderness by himself. I think it's a very interesting movie. I've talked about it a few times. But there's like these old, none of that old, I guess one of the reasons a lot of people like this channel, well, hopefully there's a few more reasons, but it's like an, it's like a, um, a bridge back to when this forum on YouTube was really, was, was used to really get people thinking differently about a lot of things. Like I've talked about, there's not too many times you couldn't come and sit down and there wasn't something incredibly interesting. I come to YouTube now and I don't have to look for anything. YouTube knows exactly <laughs> what I'm all about. If it knows what you're all about, oh, it knows what I'm all about. And what I'm fed with, a lot of it is interesting, but it's just, I don't trust any of it. I mean, it's interesting, but I don't feel like I feel like a lot of people are giving presentations. I don't feel like it's it's I'm not gonna name any channel names. I, I'm just not going to. Because I'm saying I don't trust almost anybody. So why 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 give thirty, forty names of channels that just something doesn't look right? They all don't look right to me. I'll you know, not for the for the major channels, I mean, I have a good uh relationship. She doesn't have a phone with Lavette. I don't. I don't have any skepticism. Uh, I don't agree with Levette on everything in, in in terms of having a certain knowledge of uh, of alchemy or what this world is all about. Her knowledge eclipses mine by a factor of a thousand. I am good at noticing things and calling bullshit, seeing through things, putting some pieces together. So uh, I do. When I listen to Levette, I, I, it's very interesting to me, although I don't understand most of the astrology, and that's that's 95% what she's all about. But the, all these other channels, and there's a, a, like, you know, I'm, I'm not naming, there's a lot of small channels, like, you know, um, I still uh, like and trust, uh, even though I haven't spoken with them for months, uh, Dan over at Scarab Performance, which is mostly a Mandela Effect channel, I've known him for years. I'm not meant talking about my friend Greg at uh, exploring the rabbit hole. He hasn't. He's been sick. He hasn't posted for several months, or maybe no. I'm not talking about channels that have. I'm talking about channels where, in the past, if there were 15, 25, 35, 50,000, 70,000 subscribers, we still thought they generally were on our side. I, I just. I, I don't know. I'm just disgusted. I'm really disgusted up and down. Um, yeah, I've put. I've put a, a website out and a donation link, and I appreciate some people that have, have contributed. I really do. I don't expect it. I'll never withhold chapters for a donation. Um, 
there's all these people on YouTube now they'll they'll deliver the first hour for free and then they'll charge for the second hour all this membership bullcrap and I agree with Levette Levette would come in and say look the law of equivalent exchange but I, I don't know not, not when it comes to to I mean when it, this stuff is so serious so the predicament we're in is so effed in many ways and I'm trying to the book starts very negative the chapters I load are are all about the fraud of this world but I, I assure you it gets it gets more positive and the back end of the book is like what's the way out like Dan over at Overwatch channel is uh, he believes this is some sort of a, a reincarnation trick and he likes the discussion of you know I don't want to put words in his mouth but what's the way out you know go into the light or don't go into the light after death you know what's the what's the solution um, you know and, and, and all of these big YouTube channels um, you know if they're not selling coffee mugs or uh, t-shirts um, you know or first hour charge for the first hour I mean the only I'm not going to say it I'm not going to say it um, I, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. But I want to pop in from time to time, just say hi. And, uh, you know, if I load 10 chapters in a row, as I said, people will come and, like, well, this sounds interesting, but who's the nameless, faceless asshole delivering this information? I'm just, I swear to you, I, I am just some guy, a normal guy who's been an insurance broker. Uh, the brokerage is pretty much winding down. I'm, I'm uh, in an interim phase right now. The last temporary job I had was, uh, I don't mean a temp job, like it was a temporary assignment. I, I am not continuing that. It, was, it, was, it wasn't the type of work I want to do uh, for my career moving forward. So I'm looking at some different things. But I'm, I'm just saying I'm just some regular guy trying to figure out the madness out, out my window. The reason I'm a good uh, speaker, um, I'm not trained to, to to speak or anything like that or trying I mean it's just I'm skeptical of people that give these presentations on YouTube and I'm a, I'm a pretty good speaker I can talk to a little light for 30 minutes without any notes but I, I came out of an insurance background when I was in sales and I would have to go into a boardroom this is when I was a child of the matrix when 9-11 was just 19 hijackers of course it was why, why would I question it I mean, I, I didn't question it till roughly 2009 or 2010, right around there. I, I don't know, right around there. Right, I would go into boardrooms and give give presentations to very high level people, eight, ten people sitting around a boardroom. You, you know, you have to be good on your feet. You have to be able to speak. And years and years of doing it, you you get good at speaking. So that's why I'm I'm able to to sometimes deliver a smooth presentation without notes. It's just what I've um, what I've always done, uh, even uh, my uh, when when I had the classes at Penn State, the um, uh, what were they called? Um, speaking, you know, uh, you had to speak to the class. I was terrified initially, terrified to speak to the class. Um, sometimes, you know, back then I was I was a young man, uh, 18, 19, self-centered, looking in the mirror, making sure my hair was right, trying to attract girls. I mean, you can't blame people for that. That's what young kids do. They're, it's the selfie stuff. But we didn't have the selfie sticks back then. It's the same mentality, right? So people that are into themselves are terrified to public speak, terrified. I could tell you that from experience. But I learned that um, I, maybe somebody gave me a tip, but preparation in speaking publicly is just gigantic if you're not prepared and you're and you're not you know used to doing it like I am it's just a stressful horrific uh, situation I had a girlfriend back in 96 or 97 and she didn't sleep for two days because her company was making she's quiet give a presentation about the state of something in the human resources department she didn't sleep for two days she was so stressed out sick about giving the presentation and, and I was either I learned this or I was told just gigantic prep, preparation is huge just practicing with cue cards practicing with cue cards if you ever have to, to speak to anybody it just you 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 develop a confidence if you know you walk in, in there prepared and you always have your bullet points you can refer to 
if you get stuck uh, I know I'm this is not why most people tuned in here but um, so I even even these classes initially terrified me at Penn State but I got good at them and I and I learned I had kind of a skill doing it and by the end of the class or the next few classes where you had to do speaking I, I wasn't afraid of it at all and that did help me transition into the sales position so one thing led to another I just want to tell you you know um, slick tongues individuals that can speak into a little light for for an hour without notes I'm I'm skeptical of people that can do that um, and I don't want you to be skeptical of me I assure you I'm just some guy trying to figure this effing world out um, and I look at YouTube and up and down I'm just I'm disgusted and I, I I so much want to give specifics and call people out it just not I've I'm too old for that right now I'm just you know I'm in my late 40s I don't have the I don't need these channels that are three or four times the size of mine just coming after me and I don't I just don't want to get involved in that I'm just saying you guys everybody that watches this channel has a really really good head on their shoulders I mean there's very few comments that come to this channel with people without a clue it's it's very rare so I don't have to tell you guys that, that I don't think people of this channel are falling for the scams and the bullshit presentations and the crap people are trying to pull um, but if there is a possibility that anybody would I just want to um, I just want to put out that uh, there's just very little that's worth trusting and um, you know, again, I, I, I a lot of people do trust me here, and I appreciate that. But I'm the first to say I don't I don't have very many answers. You know, Levette talks about this alchemy stuff. I don't have any clue what she's talking about. I mean, I don't have the answers. I just can I can just call out the bullshit, and I can I can um, explain it, or via what I'm writing in the book, explain it in a way that makes sense and and, and is kind of lighthearted and sometimes funny so we can get through this bull crap but we will get you know we will there's so many channels trying to manifest in my opinion some sort of really negative crap and um you know it's just it's not going to happen this it's not you know i think i think there is a light at the end of the tunnel i really do the back half of my book reflects that i think there's there's tremendous light at the end of the tunnel um i don't think that we're all going to be zapped and dying of in five of five G inside of two or three years, or you know, and and if there is a major issue, I think the overwhelming majority of us will get through it, and it will be a catalyst for people to finally open their eyes and to quote wake up, and it will change the world, and maybe it won't be good for a big segment, but it's not going to be that bad there's a tremendous light at the end of the tunnel I mean, why why would i do all this for if it's just up oh, you know the world cataclysm is coming and uh, so what's the point of all this then it just no it's it's not it can be dark i mean it really can be dark it can be depressing and there's many there's a day a week one day a week when i'm i'm depressed and i don't like to be that way i do feel that you know what people say these who knows what can suck suck out that sort of negative energy I believe all that's on the table so I try to be as up as up as I can but you know uh, it seems like oh Matt has his act together there's a day a week where I'm shaking my head going uh, you know you don't want to get out of bed in the morning it's 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 difficult to finally see this shit but um, anyway what the main I, what I opened with the video the, the video was at some point we have to we have to turn away from the endless rabbit holes the endless i'll say it you know i say it too much the endless blanked peed on breadcrumbs the endless rabbit holes the endless little trails to follow and that's all you youtube is a master at it now just getting us to follow every bullshit trail i don't know maybe you know at some point close to I don't know when the book's done to being delivered it, it'll be pretty much everything I know everything I've observed everything I can figure out when the book's done uh, what am I what else am I going to come up with I mean I'll, I'll have observations from time to time and I'm not just going to go away but I'm saying 
at some point we just have to stop tuning into YouTube looking for the next the next bullshit video about whatever rabbit hole if that means tuning me out fine we all need to check out at some point from this and live our lives you know with our with our, our head up our chin up as an example get into different things um, you know I'm, I'm still in that trying to grab as many reality nuggets as I can from others but there's very few I get anymore back in the old days it was like oh that's a gigantic reality nugget I'd grab it or remember I told you about that book I write it down in my book and I collected all this information and the 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 breadth of information um, it, it, there was so much in it and there's so much that I'm going to present in this book that it doesn't matter the, the specifics because it, it's such a overwhelming amount of reality anomalies the only conclusion is you just go this isn't real uh, th th there's no way all of this could have been put into play in our lives uh, there's no way all of this could have been pulled off so they want you looking at the specifics but if you write it down and like I did in a book and it's page after page and line after line you get a point where you look at the book and you go you don't there's no reason to even know the specifics to know that the JFK car uh, the last uh, video is called the SS-100X and to spend two days breaking down the gematria of what that might mean or what does that mean and did other presidents really use it for 13 years as all history tells us and why did they use 13 and then I'm trying to make I'm trying to make connections between the Ford slash Lincoln car and the Ford administration. And, you know, we're in that phase right now. But my goal in these videos and the book is it's you, you get to a point where it's such it's endless reality anomalies enough to fill a dictionary or an encyclopedia. And after that, there is only one there is only one conclusion. There's so much reality bullcrap that's impossible if this world is anything like what we thought it was. That you just say this is all some sort of construct. Once you come to that conclusion, it's I guess it's kind of it's it's I hate to say that I don't want to use the word fun, but it it's fun sometimes chasing the the details of why would they tell us that car was used for 13 years like my last video. But the point of me presenting these endless reality anomalies is just so people get to a point and go all right at the 500 thing it's bullshit it's just, I'm, I'm now what's your threshold I'm just I'm trying to present so much that and people that are already watching channels like this our thresholds are probably already broken so a lot of what this channel has become is just uh, an association with people, other people like us, an association of other people that can see the bullcrap, that we're not alone. This is this is he, he, just human nature. Nobody wants to be an outcast on an island, the only one. Nobody wants to be alone. So this is a, a forum, and this channel is appreciated for that reason. And it's one of the reasons I keep doing this. If there was no comment section on, on YouTube, I would have stopped doing this a long time ago. People, there's somebody recently that said, "Oh, Matt, every time you talk about something, I have I've had a recent synchronicity. This happened in my life, and it, we're not alone. You know, it's a, there's a forum here. So, but it, but at some point, you just go, we're all past the threshold. Just saying, this is this is impossible. All this bullcrap, endless rabbit holes is impossible. So the only thing to ponder, just." There's no reason to, to add to like that book where I wrote every uh, reality anomaly for years. There's no reason to keep writing out pages because we've already, I've already written enough. More reality anomalies are going to keep coming. We know that. It's it's endless. That's the nature or fabric of the reality. The bullshit will keep coming forever with the, for those who notice. And it'll fly right over the heads for those that don't notice, just like it always has. Nothing there's going to change. So the only thing it becomes a, a personal journey of like okay now I can see it I can see this bullcrap construct you know you have to determine is that is that is that passing the life test I, it, that's to me that's not the extent of it that's the start of it that's the start of passing the first exam but there's there's other things that have to be done here 
And those other things that have to be done in our lives can't be done if we're just chasing the next bullshit uh, rabbit hole that presents itself on YouTube, whether Matt's presenting it or not. I mean, I always, for some reason, that that Q, uh, Q, not QAnon, that bullcrap. What's who, what's the Lionel Nation <laughs> saying about QAnon now? After wait one more week, guys, one more week. I know I promised you 18 months ago that QAnon would uh, would would offer up a new level of freedom and the government would fall, the deep state would fall. But just give it another week, guys. I I don't know. I don't tune out. I won't tune in. But I know about a year and a half ago he was saying we're just about 10 days away from QAnon. And you know having every Hillary Clinton marched up the steps in shackles. And it, just, just just keep moving the goalposts back, Lionel Nation. When will people wise up to that bullcrap? So not when I say Q, I mean Q from the Q continuum of Star Trek, the next generation, and also of Voyager. He came back. I, great character. Always liked the Q. Uh, you know, I'll try to describe this in a way so if you don't know the, the character from Star Trek, you won't, you won't need to tune out. Uh, came back for Janeway, and the one, um, he gets kicked out, he's always getting kicked out of the continuum, and he loses his powers, but the one point, he's he's going to save the Enter- Enterprise, you might remember, he, he uh, they call it uh, one selfless act, and he has no powers, he's going to save the Enterprise, sacrifice himself, he's now become human, and fly the ship and whatever, blow up. And another Q, these are like all powerful beings, these Q, you know, snap your fingers and whatever. They, they're they like, you know, think of a saucer times a, a million. That's how powerful these Q people are. So another one pops in and, and, and he's like, you're about to commit a selfless act. And he's like, yeah, I was about to save the Enterprise. And he goes, you got your powers back. I forget what, there was some, yeah, I guess it was still like 20 some years ago, some TV star from NYPD Blue or something was a guest appearance as the other Q and he says you got your powers back and we're giving you your power back because you were about to commit a selfless act and it always resonated with me like you know not, so the test of this reality this life I think I, I do believe being able to see through it see the bullcrap is one part like the first part of your passing your SATs or the test but then the second part is you know, like almost like the the message. There's a lot of messages I think delivered in Star Trek. What's the, what's our, what's your selfless act, and do you need to do? What is your selfless act going to be to, to get out of here, or to get, your powers back? Like it, like a loose metaphor to this this episode on Star Trek with Q. And um, that doesn't mean we have to lay down our lives and you know in front of traffic to save a child to get out of here. I don't I don't think it would be that extreme. And when I say get out of here, I, you know, you all know, you know, generally what I what I mean by that. I think there are consequences uh, for those that just come here, get their law degree, and then just, uh, you know, go, you know, go ambulance chase and rob little old ladies out of their money to make as much money as possible so they could buy more Porsches and more beach homes. And I, I don't think, um, don't think they have the same standing or merit uh, on the day of their death, as we would, people that truly see the bullcrap, use it to change their lives, commit selfless acts. Lavette talks about random acts of kindness. I, I don't think I, I just, you know, the the old satanic "do what thou wilt." But we know deep down, that, no, there's consequences to being here, whether you're, and that's not even taken from the the religious or Christian standpoint. I don't come from, from that position, even though I feel I have a lot in common uh, with Christians or evangelical Christians. I'm, I'm not uh, one, uh, although those that are haven't uh, rejected me because they see we have a lot in common and are fighting for the same things. But we all feel that there's consequences to being here. And for, you know, like when the Pope said the potential truth drop, a year and a half ago, uh, bad souls don't go to hell. They the soul just goes to the abyss. Soul goes to nothing. And I've talked about that many times. Strengthening uh, your soul or strengthening your your spirit or whatever life force we have, strengthening it, using this testing ground to strengthen it, uh, to like like reinforcing your foundation, or you know just get your law degree, go 
rob and cheat little old ladies out of their money. And I'm not saying every lawyer is like that. A lot of them are, okay? Not too many, you know, a lot of them are, not every lawyer, of course. There's there's segments of any group that gets a a deserved or bad rap that they're good people. So I'm not, everybody is not lumped together, but generally, you know, the other, a few months ago, I I turned on my television and there was a uh, a late night commercial for a law firm have you been injured in a table saw accident you know it was literally no literally it was a commercial about being injured if you've been injured in table saw accidents not because of any defect in the manufacturer just if you're injured let's just sue the table saw manufacturer it's a blade <laughs> it's a blade rotating at a hundred times a second yeah if you're not careful you're gonna cut your finger off it's not the manufacturers fault so I actually placed a call. This stuff infuriates me. I placed a call and I and and I said, first of all, is this an answering service, or is this the law firm? And they said, when it's an answering service, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't. That's just an answering service. That's not their fault. They said it was the law firm. I said, you should be ashamed of yourself. I just wanted to call and say you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. Um. I've never seen a degree of chasing frivolous lawsuit. I told them until I saw your commercial. And it was somebody that was working for the firm that took the call. And uh, if I see another one, I'll place that call again. It wasn't a, it was just called him up, gave him my opinion. Person was shocked to hear it. <laughs> That's for sure. But uh, anyway, if it's a call, if it's an answering service, I have called when I see an atrocity in this world, I have called, um, I have called other places, and I and they'll say this is an answering service, or I'll I'll ask them, and I'll go, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really tell you what I think because it's not your fault. You're just there to take the message, you know, the, somebody calling, hoping I was injured at work or slipped on a banana peel. Um, again, they're not all like that. Some people have. Uh, some people are really shafted by their employer. They do need some sort of representation from a claim perspective. Uh, there is a role for that, but obviously it's been taken too far. And um, when I, I guess the reason I mention is when I when I when I make a call like that, it just is as trivial and as nothing as that is. It's just one little way to help. Just one little way the voice can be heard. And I don't know. You know, it all starts with one person. How many people have come to us and said, well, what, what can I do, even if you're right? One of the main things people say is, you know, even if you're right about that, what can I do? What can I do as one person? And that attitude, that is really, really pathetic. What, because it's not about thinking you're going to change the world. It's about strengthening your own self or, or reconfirming your own position, the own, your, the own, your, your own stance you're taking. Most of us or people watching this channel, if we were the last ones that potentially would have a certain viewpoint or would fight against an injustice, we still would fight it. That's the nature of us. That's the nature of people that watch this sort of channel. We still would do it. But people around us are like, well, I'm only going to do it if there's a chance we could win. Well, I hope we win, but we're st I'm still going to do it. And I'm, when I'm saying just leave YouTube, well, yeah, if I, if I'm, if I see you know, uh, real horrific injustice in the world, uh, even to make a phone call to, to, to like, like I talked about, that's, that's doing more than just, you know, bitching about it in different forums on YouTube. So, I don't know. I'm t I've talked long enough. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will keep, uh, if anything does happen to the channel, um, uh, as all this talk on YouTube about censoring and People can't load videos. I haven't had any issue at all from YouTube in the last, I guess, since Quantum of Conscience channel. I haven't had any issues at all. But I've been very careful with copyrighted material. It's usually just me talking or me loading the book. So, you know, I, 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 that's one of the reasons I've turned the channel into what I did. Um, I don't give the, the, I give them no excuse to, to mess with this channel. Um, although... I'm not going to say it. There, there's something that I saw recently that it's just really strange about YouTube censorship. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go there. 
I haven't had any issue, but there's talk. There's a lot of talk about YouTube. But anything that's why I'm thrilled the website's up. If there's if there's anything that happens or this channel goes away, quantum of conscience, it's con science like uh, uh, conscience meaning moral conscience. Uh, I'll I'll just post information about what bit shoot I'm doing or one of those other forums or platforms to continue loading the chapters of the book. But um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if anything happens, I'm gonna. There, it will be on the website how the additional chapters of the book, up to roughly, I don't know, minimum seventy chapters. It might be closer to eighty. I'm still, I'm still working the final versions before I present them, and there's a lot of final editing I'm doing before the presentation. Um, but they, they, it will. I will finish this uh, book, no matter what happens with me on YouTube. Thanks, guys.